Well, beautiful peoples, I'm back. I'm so disappointed. It's not because it wasn't level, because as you've seen, everything was level. I was worried about this part and this part going off. And it's quite humorous because it literally did not go off, but blew enough. Um, the center went all inside, and I think that's because I had a lot of paint on my canvas, which in turn drew it to where it was going. Um, I was going to put a coat of this on top and then come back with um, like a nice bowl. But because I'm not happy with it, I do not want to waste my expensive. This is probably just as much as resin. Like this stuff isn't cheap either. So I'm not going to waste that. Uh, what I'm going to do is give it a good coat of my Liquitex. And this is expensive too. <laughs> this is the lesser of the evils. Um, so I'm going to put a coat of this um, gloss varnish just so it looks and gives it a big pop. And then I'm going to do a nice big bow probably here. And then we're going to go with that. So I'm going to, this is how I do varnish. And I, I put it right on the canvas. I don't put it on anything and then dip it in because then you're, you're wasting product. So I just do this and it's all, you know, and just go back and forth. I'm using a sponge brush. I'm just going to go quick just so that I don't have lines. And it's also good to just do one nice, and I'm going to put another little bit there. And then try to do, once you get it so that you know it's all coated, then do a nice even, woo, we're splashing off. I just don't want this part to dry before I get up here. And then do a nice even all the way across so you don't have lines. You will have lines. Don't get me wrong, you will have some lines. I'm gonna let this dry. Perfect. I'm gonna come around to the sides really quick. And when it's dry, I'll come back and we'll do a second coat. And I went this way with this coat. The next coat, I'm going to come down this way. And then that kind of it gives it that, um, that woven textured look that you have with a canvas. And then we're going to give that a good half hour. It dries pretty quick, actually. I'm going to fluff it. Sorry, my brush was in my mouth. I'm going to flip it around so I can get at the sides. Yeah, I'm just so ugh, devastated. Uh, one more. And I love using the foam brushes because it holds it. Like, I don't need to put any more on here and it's done. There you go. What I do, there's something white there, black, sorry. What I do do is when I'm done with this, until this dries, I'm going to put it in a baggie and zip it up, give it a good twist, and then it's good for my next one. And I, you can keep using it like this. Or like, you know, paintbrushes, people put it in the freezer, all that jazz. But I'm just going to do this. And, um, yeah, we'll get the second coat on. It might be actually, oh, yeah, I'm going to give it a, a good 15 minutes and then I'll be back. Why, well, hello, we're back. It is dry. Now we're going to do our second coat. There's a hair. 
and we're going to go this way with the coat. I'm going to find my little, something little, little, because I got a little hair here, two of them. And it's dry, and I'd like to get it out now. Oh my goodness, Sherry. There we go. And one here. Ah. It's in there. I can't get it out. Okay, so now we're going to come back and go this way. So. And then this, I'm going to let sit for quite a while because I don't want to put my glass and glitter. I'm going to go this way. I'm just getting it all on. And then I'm going to make sure my strokes are the, going the right way. Um, I want to make sure, there we go, everything's coated. Now we're just going to go lightly up and down just to create that effect that it looks like it may be on canvas. Anyway, it is on canvas. But anyways, I'm going to let it dry <clears throat> completely because um, I do not want my glitter and everything being um, stuck where I don't want it. And this guy's already had a rough time. I do not want it to be <laughs> not good all the way around. And there's another, oh my goodness. Must be the brush. All right, perfect. Again, the brush is going into the baggie and it's good. And these are a little bit more expensive. I bought these ones at the local home, the hardware store. And I'm going to stick it there. So I am going to move him. I'm going to put him under my tent. And when he's all, when she, he's all dry, we will be back to bling it up. See you in a bit, guys. Hello, we are back. We are dry. You can really see the blingy in the, some of it. It's just, I'm just so disappointed that it didn't stay and just, I don't, it, the cells are just horrific. Weird. How you can go from, it must be the flow troll because of the batches that I've had of other stuff. So anyways, that is that. I can't dwindle on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip you the other way because this is where I want the wreath, the bowl. So I'm going to flip it so I can... Yeah, thought I'd put the bow, I'm not sure if I can put the bow here and have it go into the wreath. So it would be on the top. I'm just trying to figure out how it would look. Yeah, I don't know. It just, it looks like a, I said to my husband, it looks like a dead turtle or something. It looks like a turtle. <laughs> A turtle shell. <laughs> oh, it doesn't look like a reef at all. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to do it here. And I'll bring out the ribbon maybe this way. So I'll put it the bow here. Like a big bow. And then the ribbon and the ribbon. I have poured out two ounces of the liquid... Oh, I've got a stupid shoulder. The liquid glass. I have it here in this. I'm going to put a little bit of the Cadium Liquidex Basics Cadium Red Hue. Because we want a little red, red, red going on. And then we're going to get down to blinging. We're gonna try that. We'll see how far that little squirt does because we want it to be pretty rad. Oh yeah, that should be good. 
and we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll do some like three bunches of cherries in there somewhere. What is that? Is that a lump or is that? Yeah, that's a lump of something. We're gonna put that in there, it's garbage, okay. There we go, we're all mixed up. I think that will be a pretty color. And like I said, we're gonna add um, red glitter and bling it up. I'm gonna pour it in my little wee container. I'm just pouring it off the corner here just because I don't wanna get in on top of my picture because if you've been watching my videos, you know anything and everything happens to Sherry. This is lumpy. It's been sitting down here for a little bit. That's what happened. And I think we're going to attempt to it. If all else fails, it's going to clog because I have it in the squeeze thing. Let me just rip that off. Here we go. Now, make sure it's going to come out. Yep. Okay. So, big bow. Big bow. All right. Normally I wouldn't put it this way, but just the way that the composition of the Dutch pour turned out. I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger there. A little bit bigger there. Just the way the Dutch pour turned out, it looks horrible in my opinion. But oh, I'm going to bring this part down. that part down. I'm going to try and even this side out. Maybe, maybe, where did I put my, oh there, here. Maybe I can do some q-tips. Oh my goodness, the battery died. Like, what is with this today? <laughs> All right. I am, oh, it, it evened itself out a bit there. I'm going to try, actually, maybe I'll just even this side out here, make this side of the bow a little bigger. That's good. Mm -hmm. Not sure, my friends. I don't know. We're going to go with the gold bling because I have gold in here, not silver. And we're going to go 
Let's see. This stuff is so chunky. Actually, this one, I'm going to move right into the center because it is so freaking big. There. just I had better plans for this I just feel bad yeah I gotta figure out my Dutch pour mix because this something's up with it something's up with it I think that's good As I keep putting it on, right? I think that's good. <laughs> oh my my. I just keep putting it on, but it keeps popping off. This, um, the gold is nice. It's really chunky. I'm just gonna see if I can get rid of that. Oh, it worked. Good. All right. That is that. I am going to use the Recollections Chunky. This is Cherry. Let's see if it comes out of the... Nope, we gotta use the other one. I think that's good and then I want to find some silver gold sorry I don't have any oh maybe I'll use this gold we'll put a little bit of the recollections chunky this one is holographic gold and I think then we'll be done I'm going to pour it in my hands. I think I get a better control with it in my hand. I can kind of place it more where I want it. And this is going to get all shaken off. I am not going to add a bow to it. I'm not going to add anything else to it. I'm not going to put the, the cherry little dots, I don't think. so sad it didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to but anyways that is that I'm gonna let it dry and I don't know do I come back with the with this fine glitter no I'm gonna leave it we will leave it at what it is so I'm gonna let it sit let it do its thing and then we're gonna come on and shake it all off in a few hours I'll see you in a bit, guys. Hey, we're back, and it is dry, and we're going to give it a shake. I'm just so disappointed this didn't turn out as exactly as I wanted. It's still kind of cute, but it is, yeah. I'm hoping you can see it. Oh, you guess you can't. that 
loose stuff out of there. My husband said it looked like a fish. It's <laughs> too funny. Well, this is Saturday. This is actually today is Thursday. This is going to be Saturday's little bonus video. And also, it is, I'm not sure if I mentioned through the video or not, but it is my husband and ours 33rd wedding anniversary today. Um, crazy how time, it just, it just flies. We, um, met when we were 15, started dating when we were 15. Um, it was funny. We were in Sea Cadets. He had just got out of Sea Cadets and I just started Sea Cadets and his dad was in it. So I kind of met him that way and the rest is history. It's kind of cool, but Get all of this. Oh my gosh, you gotta shake your brush off. And this stuff, again, like I, I really want to emphasize that if you're gonna put a coat down of something on your canvas prior to blinging, please, please, please remember to make sure it's completely dry. I was a little iffy on this one because I was trying to get this done, so it was up for Saturday. So there we go. I'm not sure. It's kind of cool, but not quite, like I said, not exactly what I was wanting. I will come back and get the rest of all of this stuff. It's hard to get it sometimes. Maybe I'll push it in inward. But there you go. That's my Dutch pour reef. Reef. Oh. I have to, I don't understand why I keep calling it a reef. Maybe it's a Canadian in me. Maybe it's, I don't know. Some people think I'm a Newfoundlander because I talk too fast and all that fun stuff. So anyway, with that being said, I will bring you down. I'm going to flip it back the way it should be. And I'll bring you down and you can see what it looks like. So, like I was saying, I just wanted to to wish the hubby a happy uh, anniversary. I'll uh, I'll post a couple pictures on the end of the video of our lovely wedding that we had 33 years ago. That's crazy. Anyways, pretty neat. I don't know. Like I said, I was just upset. With the way the cells are, like look at them. They're all weird, funkied, and like, which is weird. It almost looks like it's cracked. But anyway, I have to mix up more Floetrol um, white paint with a new batch of Floetrol and see if it works. But there you go, my blinged out ribbon. I think the balls would have looked a little weird like the little cranberry, three little cranberry things. But anyways, there it is. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, I was a little disappointed. I don't know if you can now see it. Look, to me, it looked like a turtle with all of these. <laughs> it looked like the turtle shell. Too funny. But anyways, hope you have a wonderful Saturday. Um, the hubby and I are gonna order takeout for dinner. Woohoo! Don't have to cook, which is amazing. And yeah, I'm going to put a little couple of pictures at the end of our wedding so you can see how young we looked. So anyways, if you have not yet subscribed, please do. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Um, hit the bell for notifications and you'll get notified when I have another video. And I hope you're still enjoying the Christmas stuff. Anyways, only a couple weeks left, my loves. I'll talk to you later. Have a wonderful Saturday. Love you guys. Bye-bye.